Miracle on 34th Street, the original, was one of my Christmas movie blind spots. I had never seen it up to this point. But I decided when I was planning out this series that it was going to be on my watch list. And I'm so glad I made that decision because this movie is delightful. It tells the story of a man named, well, Chris Kringle, played by Edmund Gwynn. He is probably one of the nicest people you could ever hope to meet. And not only is he incredibly nice, caring, and loving to his fellow man, but he is he looks the spitting image of Santa Claus. White beard, wears red conceivably, the movie's in black and white, but wears red. Like All he needs is a Coca-Cola bottle, and there you go. But there are some who are not exactly amused at the idea of him thinking he's Santa Claus. More specifically, Doris Walker, played by Maureen O'Hara. She believes that, well, he's a couple fries short of a Happy Meal, and, well, politely just wants him to go away. However, he believes so much that he's Santa Claus that he sticks around. It all leads to a big court case in which, legally, the question is asked, is Santa Claus real? I'm just going to get what I liked the most out of the way right here and now. This is the one thing that stood out to me. Edmund Gwynn. Like, this dude is Santa Claus. I mean, it doesn't matter who plays him. Tim Allen, Billy Bob Thornton, Mel Gibson, that's coming soon. Edmund Gwynn is Santa Claus. Undisputed. What I like what they did with this movie is that they didn't portray him as, like, some kind of loon, like, say, Robin Williams and The Fisher King. And I'm not trying to tear that movie down, I've never seen it. I've just really seen photos. However, what I liked in this movie is that they actually just portrayed him as a very nice man. When Macy's hires him as a mall Santa, like, like when, he when, when he gets asked for a gift that he can't provide, he's like, well, let me tell you where it is, which... I think maybe breaks a couple rules of business, but he's so nice that the movie just shows that it kind of works in his favor. Maureen O'Hara was a really good foil for Gwyn. She was probably best known for starring in a crap ton of John Ford movies, more specifically How Green Was My Valley and The Quiet Man, the latter of which is one of John Wayne's best movies. Uh, O'Hara kind of plays a woman who is trying to be nice to this guy, however, let, the movie kind of implies that she's had a really rough past and doesn't want to believe in anything in, in anything more than she can see in front of her. She's not into myths and legends and all that other stuff. She is very much like, a realist, almost to a painful degree. And she's trying her hardest to pass that realism onto her daughter, played by Natalie Wood, who would later go on to star in West Side Story. And left us far too soon, may she rest in peace. I would I would think that the ending of this movie seems a bit ridiculous, kind of doing a court case as to whether or not Santa Claus actually exists, but since the movie had been revolving around is this gentleman really Santa or is he just, did he like fall on his head and woke up thinking that he is Santa? I think the movie handled it pretty well. It, for as ridiculous as it might sound on paper, it is executed well. And I have to say that the ending of this movie has got to be one of the more iconic ones. Let's just say it involves a crap ton of letters. You will know it when you see it. This movie got remade in the mid-90s. It was produced by John Hughes, legend, and starring Mara Wilson. I have yet to see that version, though. I've heard mixed things. However, until I see the remake, I firmly believe that this is the definitive Miracle on 34th Street. And even though the movie was released in the 40s and it is in black and white, it's a movie that can resonate with absolutely everybody. So if you haven't seen it, check it out if you haven't.